BYU women's soccer hosting South Carolina in the Elite Eight NCAA tournament match tomorrow at Southfield. Ah, a home match to go to the Final Four. Winner moves on to Santa Clara. Watch the match live at 7 Eastern on BYU TV. I don't think it's an understatement to say it's the biggest game in women's soccer history because BYU has a home game in which it's probably the favorite against South Carolina, a team that's really good. But, hey, let's go. Olivia Wade is uh, on set joining us. Olivia. How excited are you for this game? Holy shnikes. I am so excited. I feel like this has been such a long time coming. And so the fact it's tomorrow is just, yeah, feels like Christmas Eve, honestly. <laughs> so, Which is awesome because I know this program's done amazing things. The one thing missing is never going to the College Cup. Yep. Now you have a home game because you took down Virginia yep. and, uh, you know, USC lost mm -hmm. to Penn State. So... Now you're hosting. You didn't think you were going to have a home game, but here we are. Yeah, it was honestly like the stars aligned perfectly for us to be able to do that. Honestly, it was just a crazy game. Obviously, you guys followed us in Virginia, and it was quite the excitement and quite the game there. But we're just so excited that we get to come home for Southfield to, to play. So, okay. so I, I, I've been telling everybody one of the things that – because they're all like, oh, this soccer team is great. What do you think? I've told everybody the thing that impresses me the most about what you guys have done this year is after the loss to Virginia last year, mm -hmm. that hit you guys hard. You yeah. guys felt you should have won. You felt you were the better team, mm -hmm. and it just didn't work out. Yeah. So all year long, you guys wanted an opportunity to face them again. It just happens that you get them <laughs> and you beat them. Yep. That doesn't always happen. What does that say about this team that that was a goal that you had all season and, and that you were able to, to accomplish that? Yeah, so honestly, I mean, we have the same girls that we did in the spring, but I think just the chemistry that we've been able to build, the players that we have, like everything, we just developed so much over the last few months. It's been crazy, obviously, just seeing the progress that we've made. And so we'd been honestly crossing our fingers that somehow we would run into UVA, and it just so <laughs> happened that we get them in the Sweet 16 again. So it was literally like deja vu and... Being able to beat them on their home field was just an amazing feeling. Just really felt, you know, like we really deserved that because we felt like we genuinely got robbed in the spring. So it was it was awesome. It was so exciting. And chances were if you won that, you'd have to go to L.A. and play SC perhaps mm -hmm. on the same day that football plays SC. Nope, they lose. Mm -hmm. So now as a four seed, this comes to Provo. So now you have South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Now South Carolina is a team that is really good on defense. Yeah. SEC, they haven't given up a goal in the tourney. You're the number one scoring offense in the country. That's a fun little uh, battle there. What do you think of the matchup? Yeah, it's going to be really fun. I think, you know, we just have to continue to do what we've been doing all season, continue to show that we are the number one offense in the country. I think that has been shown with, you know, obviously the amount of goals that we've scored and just where the goals are coming from and who they're coming from. I think it's just going to be an amazing game. I think Southfield is going to have quite the game to watch. So And that environment. Yeah. Sold out in like hours. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be crazy. Like, Southfield, if people have come and played at Southfield, they know that the energy there is unmatched. Like, it is one of the funnest places to play in the country, and being able to have that sold-out, jam-packed is going to be unbelievable. There's going to be a crowd in Smith Fieldhouse watching on the screen, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be yeah. – I, I don't think we've seen a match like this. Like, I remember 2012 UNC Elite uh -huh. Eight. That was, to me, the next closest thing to this, obviously. Yeah. It was electric. Yeah. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be. Crazy. Yeah, it's. I've never looked at the weather. It's gonna be cold tomorrow night. I don't know. I was honestly trying to check it on my right. phone today, but check I didn't. Right I was now. like driving here. I'm like, I wonder yeah. what it's gonna be like tomorrow because it's cold. You yeah. Said, tomorrow, <laughs> exactly. tomorrow a high of fifty. Oh, okay. So, okay, so it'll be it'll probably, uh, it'll probably be uh, in a the little line, chilly. Like it'll start to get chilly. Yeah, yeah. But it won't be like low 40s. bone freezing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I mean, we've honestly had pretty good weather. I feel like at Southfield, so this will probably be the coldest game we've had all season. Limited so. rain. The scariest moment of the year was just when the fl uh, plane flew over. Yeah. The day of the BYU <laughs> <laughs> it scared the crap. They should have told right? us that was going to happen because girls were hitting the deck. We had no idea what was going on. So <laughs> if that if that ever happens again, we need at least a heads up. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a heads up, but yeah. <laughs> so take terrible us, joke. We've, yeah. we've talked with other athletes about what it's like to be an athlete on campus right now with everybody winning. Yeah. What's it like to be a BYU Cougar right now? It's such a great feeling. Obviously, what was it last Saturday? We had like cross country, like taking national. We have the teams. Every team literally is winning. So it was just, I don't know, just so much Cougar pride right now. I think it's just a great day to be a Cougar. It's always a great day to be a Cougar, but I think recently it's like. A really great day to be a Cougar, so it's it's awesome. It is awesome. We're talking to uh, Olivia Wade, uh, member of the women's soccer team. Uh, what was it like to go on your mission to Houston with Jeremy Guthrie, the former Major League Baseball pitcher, as the president? Yeah, he 
he was honestly exactly who I needed. He was like my mentor. Just any question that I had about obviously the mission or sports in general was directed to him. And I just I genuinely feel like the luckiest person in the world that I got him as my mission president because I needed him like Heavenly Father knew that I needed him to be my mission president, honestly. So it was just a remarkable experience for for those for somebody that may be in a situation like you, because for people that don't remember before your mission, you were playing. You were an integral part of this team before you left, but you decided to go. Take us through that decision and why that was the right decision for you. Yeah, so honestly, all growing up, like, I never wanted to serve a mission. Like, I was that girl that was like, thank goodness I'm a girl. Like, I, I'm not obligated to go. Like, I, I would never choose to do that for myself in a million years. But I think just as the time got closer, I started getting that feeling that I need to go. And I was like, I don't even know what to do with this. Like, I put off even praying about it. Like, I didn't even want to ask. I was like, I don't want to ask because I know <laughs> the answer's yes. So I don't even want to know. But, you know, I had to humble myself and just knowing that that's genuinely what I needed to do and just knowing, you know what, God has blessed me with this ability to play soccer and he's blessed me with so many things in my life. I, I can give that up for 18 months. And if I'm supposed to come back and play and like be a part of the team, like how I was before my mission, then I will. And if I'm not, then, you know, I'm okay with that. And so I think that decision just came from, I guess, gratitude of all the things that I've been blessed with throughout my life. And just knowing that God has a plan far greater than the plan I could imagine for myself. And a mission was not a part of that, but I, I needed to go on a mission and it was the most remarkable experience I've ever been on. And uh, Jeremy had a, uh, Spencer and I jump on for a Zoom, which is fun. <laughs> we were like, shout out to Sister Wade, what's up? Which I know, is really fun. so funny. You grew up with Michaela Coulihan, right? Uh-huh, yeah. How, how old were you when you first met? So we actually went to the same elementary school. So I've known Kayla genuinely like our entire lives. What's, so. what's it been like to see her become arguably the greatest soccer player that's ever played? Here? Well, she's she's a legend. Like, she will go down in history as one of the greatest, if not the greatest player to come out of BYU. And it's just been such an honor, genuinely, to see how much she's grown as a player and as a person and just really fill into that role that we all knew she was capable of having. Like, she is the most talented soccer player I've ever had the opportunity to play with. And it's just so amazing to see her have so much success and I'm just so proud of her and just honestly love her to death and so just so excited for what she has ahead of her obviously she's leaving behind a legendary career at BYU but I think she's going to go make a huge dent in the NWSL so I'm excited I, I want to go back to uh, when uh, when Jeremy mentioned that he and Spencer uh, joined uh, you guys <laughs> on, on, during your mission via Zoom did it give you more or less street cred when the other missionaries realized that <laughs> oh you knew gosh. them oh my gosh I was like honestly when they popped on they were like shout out sister Wade and people were messaging me they're like, how do you know them? Like, how do you know like, the safety zone, zone, guys? I know. And so every time, every time we had to watch the safety zone videos, had to is the operative word. Yeah. There. I like that. I like that. Yeah, they. Yeah, but it was just so funny. I, I would always get like kind of embarrassed. I'm like, oh, like, uh, I don't know. No, I. It was fun. Honestly, they thought it was so hilarious that like I had obviously been on the show before and like you're like then, i so. play soccer like i'm a person who scores goals <laughs> like i'm, I'm a somebody... big deal all right yeah, I, I, oh, I'm Olivia Wade. yeah how's jesse doing by the way he's doing so great i was just with him yesterday thanksgiving he's nice. doing awesome him and his wife are pregnant so oh, they're exciting. expecting a baby in Congrats. april so that's awesome. it's exciting yeah well good luck tomorrow night seven eastern BYU tv BYU radio it's gonna be freaking yeah. awesome yeah uh let's give you the karma I best of like luck you. tomorrow night thank you have some fun yeah it'll be good thanks, thanks olivia, olivia.